All right, YouTube, I need your help. I found this hot water pressure washer yesterday on the curb at around 2.30 in the morning. I actually found it at 11.30 and tried putting it on my truck and realized it was way too heavy and I couldn't lift it. I actually thought it was a generator. And I got home and I saw this picture that I took here. I looked it up and realized that it was not a generator and it was this hot water pressure washer. And this engine alone, goes for a lot of money, but I don't know much about this thing. Uh, 16 horsepower Vanguard V-twin, two year warranty. I bet that's already expired. This thing was massive to load on my truck. So actually, I let, like I said, I went home at 1130, went back to bed and then was tossing and turning because I couldn't sleep without knowing what this thing was worth. And I realized that these things new sell for a couple thousand dollars. So I loaded a hitch on my truck, went back and did everything I could, ended up back in the truck on the grass and rolled this thing on the hitch and got it on there. I want you to see how heavy this thing is. Okay, I can pick it up on this side because obviously it has handles. I can turn it around, but the wheels are flat. Now try to put this on your truck by yourself. It's pretty darn heavy. Oh, it's hot. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna guess over two, 300 pounds. This thing is just incredibly heavy. If you guys know anything about this kind of equipment, please comment down below. I don't know if I should uh, if it's worth it to get it restored, fixed up, or should I just sell as is, parts only? If you guys see something very obvious that I am missing, please point it out. I see an uh, oil filter there. I see some sort of uh, drip pan or a gas, oh, it says a gas tank down there. Let's see, a gasoline tank. Okay, that's pretty interesting. I see some belts over here. Okay, I see a choke. All right. Let's see, I see a battery right here. It's a power, power sonic battery. I don't, I don't know how to start this thing. I'm gonna keep filming until I find somewhere to start. I don't see a pull cord. Uh, maybe I don't know what I'm looking at though, but I've done some small engine repair. I just never worked on an engine like this. I've just done like, you know, basic three, four horsepower lawn mowers. This is the biggest I've seen. This looks like some sort of pump system. Uh, I see a quick release here, probably for the hose. I don't know what this is. Okay, I see something down here. I'm just gonna kind of show everything. Oh, some water came out. I'm gonna kind of show everything. That way, if you guys notice something, you can point it out. Maybe there's something missing that's so obvious, I just don't know. Okay, this looks like an oil, oil stick. Let me see. It's got oil in it. It doesn't look, no, it doesn't look, it's dripping, so it's not you know gunked up in there okay i see oh okay i see a key here seems to be a key uh nothing okay. it's got to be like a, a switch here because i don't think the key handles everything okay gauge chemical and equipment company alcoda cleaning system see over here alcoda cleaning equipment model 44 5s do not run unit without an enclosed area. Made in America, that's cool. Let's open up this thing. 16 horsepower V-twin. I'm guessing this might be like where an air, air filter goes. Okay. Yeah, air filter. It doesn't look terribly old. This is a really cool trash find. I felt really bad that I was gonna leave this thing and I don't think the trash people would have taken it. It's way too heavy for two guys to lift on a truck. Maybe I'm just not that strong, but I did use some leverage. It took me about 20 minutes to load this thing. Please let me know if you guys think this thing is worth fixing or should I just junk it as parts? Maybe just sell the engine. I'm not quite sure what to do. It is Briggs and Stratton. Maybe I should just clean it up and sell it as is. See anything else I need to point out? Oh, that switch, I gotta find a switch. See, I don't know what these things are, maybe for like the nozzle tips. And I've seen those on the small residential pressure washers, but they're not hot water pressure washers. Okay, what's this, spark plug. Oh, I see a spark plug, it doesn't look that old. I guess I gotta pull it out to see the electrode, but it doesn't look terrible. There's some rust on it and some dust, maybe that's just from sitting in a shed or something oil let's see yeah i see some oil in there a little bit it's not dry let's see what does this say um something something or other blah 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 numbers units 
Uh, oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. I see a switch. Oh man, what if this thing works? Okay, switch. And maybe the key start. Oh, is this thing gonna start? No. Oh. I know it's not good to start these things without water connected to them, but you should at least hear something. Oh man. Okay. Wow, this thing's really cool. See a Briggs and Stratton logo right there. There's gotta be a reason why I threw it away. I mean, this particular house, I've actually found some really cool stuff that they've actually thrown away in the past. I've saw, I've picked up some John Deere lawnmowers. So these people have a tendency to throw some good stuff out. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. If you got any questions, you know what? I'm the one with the questions. If you have any comments, leave them down below. I'd really love to know what to do with this thing. This by far the heaviest thing of all time that I've ever lifted. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace.